Okay. Hey, so cheeky. I'm doing my COVID-19 questions right now. Since you asked me to take a video, and I'm going to take a video. And it's going to be better than Kai's. Period. Okay. So, I'm going to be telling you my questions. And then I'm going to be telling you how I answered them. Not how I answered them, but I'm going to tell you what the answers I found on Google. Let me tell you, Google never fails. Okay. First question. Why is the disease being called coronavirus disease 2019? Okay. And what I found was on February 11th, 2020, the World Health Organization announced an official name for the disease that is called, that is causing the 2019 novel coronavirus outbreak. Okay. First identified in China. In, I don't know how to say that, but Wuhan, China. Yeah. The new name for the disease is coronavirus disease 2019. As you can see, the question abbreviated as COVID-19 in COVID-19 the the word for it in, for COVID-19 for a shorter term is KO not KO but CO that these are the short terms that I'm going to tell you um, that stands K, CO stands for Corona um, VI stands for virus and D the D stands for disease. Okay, there he is. But yeah. Yep. Okay, that was my question number one and that was my answer to it. Okay, got it. Next one. My second question is, how does this coronavirus spread? No. The coronavirus, it's very something else. But this is what I did find. It says, the virus that causes COVID-19 is thought to spread mainly from person to person, obviously. Mainly through respira- respiratory droplets produced when an infected person coughs or sneezes into someone not into someone but like close to someone and the other person inhales it um these droplets can land in the mouth nose of other people who are nearby or possibly being inhaled into the lungs so that's why everyone the government and the governor wants us to stay inside and be six feet oh at least six feet away from each other yeah so that is good don't mind me i did not get a haircut okay so in a fat minute okay oh, are you guys wondering what this is it's my fluffy animal hmm. i haven't thought of a name for it yet i'm gonna be like fluffy 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 <gasps> Fluffy, you, your name is Fluffy, and you shall be my Fluffy, and you're my Fluffy, and I shall love you so. Okay, so me and Fluffy right now. So I'm gonna read the third question. My third question. Okay, there you go. Why do the number of cases previous days increase? Let me let me try read it slower. Okay. Okay. Why do the number of cases previous days increase so basically what it's trying to say is why do people re- like the number of reported people is less than the actual number of people who have the disease that's what it's asking if you are following along with me so pe- basically the problem is that people are delaying it says right here, this says right here, delays in reporting can cause the number of COVID-19 cases reported on previous days to increase. So basically, people not reporting it are basically spreading it without you knowing. So, or they just don't know. So, ah, I broke my eye. Oh my God, I'm going to die. Nah, I'm just fucking you guys. I did wash my hands before I did this whole thing. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I am. Um, 
Uh, okay. State, local, and territorial health departments report the number of cases that have been confirmed and shared these data with CDC. Since it takes time to conduct laboratory testing, cases from previous days may be added to the daily counts a few uh, counts a few days late. So basically, what they're saying is that they have tests. It just takes a long time for the test to be, you know, the results to come in. So they just don't know if people, they don't know right away if people have the COVID-19 or not. So, yeah. Oh, oh, no. Yup. Here we get. That's what I'm talking about. I did that. But yeah, those are my questions, and I hope you like them. And don't forget to come back, subscribe, leave a like down below. And who is that? Oh my god. But don't be scared to come back to my channel and ask questions, comment down below what do you want my next video to be on. Till next time. Bye, Daniel. Fabio.